Now in this video, we'll see how this for each loop actually works. So to make it simple, let me remove all these extra comments which were we were using earlier. And you can see now we have these two lines which says create a list with six values and using this for each method we can print all the values in which I have passed a variable which is i and I am printing the value of i. But let's say how exactly all this works. So let me remove this command again. Let me just remove this. We'll type it again. So we'll say values dot for each. Now this for each accepts a consumer interface object. So that means in order to work with this for each method, we need to create object of consumer interface. So we'll say consumer interface. So let's import this package and you can see package name is it is java.util.function.consumer. So all these uh, interfaces which were introduced in function package, they are Java 8 features. So if I go to this function package, you can see it was introduced in 1.8 version. Okay, so if you are trying all this code in Java 1.7, obviously it will not work. So in this for loop, what you have to specify is we have to specify the object of consumer and we'll say consumer takes all the integer value. So let me just go to the go to the definition of consumer. If we go to consumer, it's a functional interface, a point to remember. It's a functional interface and it says it's the version is 1.8 and this consumer accepts a, a type T which is if it is integer, so the type of this consumer will be integer. So for every consumer, so that your values they will provide some data, so they are they are producer, and this consumer object here will be a consumer. Since it is a functional interface, you will be having only one method which is accept, and this method accepts accepts only one object, same as the type of your consumer. If your consumer is integer type, this will be integer type. So if you don't know what exactly this feature is, you can go to my video of generics, and you can learn what is generics here. So you can see we have a method which is accept, which accepts only one method or one parameter. So what we can do here is we can create the object of consumer, we'll say C equal to. Now in order to create the object of consumer, what we can do is we can create a new class here. So somewhere outside you can create a class, we'll say the class name is uh, CC and CC is CC implements consumer so you can do all those things and then you can you can define a method which is uh, accept that's a feature of imp, uh, this interface but what we can use here is we can use anonymous class notice anonymous class here you can simply say new consumer again if you don't know the anonymous class uh, you can go to my uh, playlist of java and search for anonymous class so if you are familiar with anonymous class please please continue so we have consumer integer c equal to new consumer and we can specify the type again which is integer here we give a bracket now since consumer is not a class it's an interface we have to define the interface definition here because every interface needs a definition so either you can use a class to define the to define the definition or you can use anonymous class so this thing here we are using a uh, anonymous class now this consumer interface has only one method which is public void accept, so we'll say accept, and it accepts only one parameter, so we'll say it is integer i, so that's your value i, and now let's print the value, so we'll say s out tab, and let's print the value of i, okay, and then in this for each loop we can just pass, or for each method you can simply pass c. So what it will do, when you pass C, it will go to this object C, it will check, okay, we have accept method. So every time you call this for each method, it will fetch all the values and one by one, it will call this accept method and it will, it will pass the values. So initially it will pass one, output will be one, then it will be two, output will be two. It will go till six now. So if I run this, the output is one, two, three, four, five, six. Clear? So that means you, uh, this for each method here, they accepts a consumer interface. Can we can we make this code more efficient now? Yes, we can. And how to make this code more efficient? That we'll see in the next part.